Welcome to this session on placing a ceiling grid. So in this session, we're just going to place a basic acoustical tile ceiling grid in each of the office spaces. So I'm going to go back up to my architectural ribbon and select this ceiling grid tool. So our ceiling type here will be a grid that you could place, for instance, a linear type ceiling or a pattern ceiling, but we're going to use the grid. And then we're going to put in our row and column spacing. So we're going to do a two foot or 600 millimeters by four feet or 1200 millimeters as our grid. I'm going to make sure I check off that annotation scale. Uh, that's not appropriate here as you know, we want these ceiling grids to be actual size. Now we're going to place these by selecting the space and then we can either determine the height by, by defining it or by using the space height. So we're going to use the space height. We put in a 10 foot ceiling on each of those spaces. And so we'll use that height. Now we also have an option here on how we want to center the tile. So we could either center a tile as shown here. We could center a corner as shown here. Now those work nice if you have a fairly rectangular space, but since ours are a little irregular, I'm going to use the by point method, which means I will have the option to select the intersection point. And then we're going to select a family and part. So the family, of course, will be ceiling and our part will just be acoustical tile. And then to place, I'm just going to select the space and I do that by selecting that tag. So I select the tag and then another left click to accept the space. Now we'll see the crosshairs on my cursor and that's basically what I'm going to use to define the intersection of our grid. Now I'm going to use this corner here as my, my start point of my grid. So I select that. Now I have the option to rotate that grid. So I could rotate it this direction or rotate it this direction. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then it's placed and you can see here in the 3D view that it's at that 10 foot height. Then we'll just select that tool again left click to accept, select my insertion point and my rotation. Then we'll go ahead and do the next one, accept it, select our insertion point, select the rotation. And finally, the last one. And we've got the ceiling grids for each of the spaces placed. Now we could go ahead and do a similar layout on office floor two. We could also go down to the lobby and put ceilings in the lobby floor, but we're really ready to start assembling our, our building model, what we call the discipline master model. And so in the next session, we'll get that assembled. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.